All right, welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We'll be joined by Stefan Parsons, who will drive the number 99 uh, for BJ McLeod Motorsports in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. How's it going? Good, man. Thanks for having me on. Hey, no problem. So, uh, what have you been uh, so far this season? Uh, we've just been working. You know, we've been uh, preparing for next year. You know, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a lot that goes into, uh, you know, as a full-time guy that goes into, you know, getting things ready for the new season, whether it be um, – with the cars or just logistics, you know, stuff like fire suits, seats, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, definitely been staying busy. Uh, we've had, uh, we got a lot of cool stuff working uh, for our team next year, not only for me, but for uh, for the other two cars, BJ's other two cars as well. So um, there's been, uh, it's been nothing short of busy. Yeah, let's talk about you're going full time. Of course, your teammate was announced last week. Josh Williams is coming over there. I know that there's going to be some other drivers announced. You know, Nick Sanchez will be part time with that team. So, talk about what what's it going to be like working with all these drivers. Yeah, you know, I'm excited to work with uh, with Josh for sure. Um, I've known Josh since I raced uh, Bandoleros and Legend cars, so I've known Josh for a long time and and really have enjoyed racing against him in the Xfinity series the past few years. He's one of the, he's one of the guys out there that I um, trust and that I enjoy racing around and um, is just really like, like the way he races. And I think he's really smart and obviously he's made, he's done a lot for himself um, professionally. And I think he's going to be good. Uh, a really good addition to our team. I think, I certainly think it's going to be good to have somebody with uh, the experience that he has in here. Um, and I think it, I think it's going to benefit everybody. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. So kind of talk about like what, you know, the rest of the off season is going to look like uh, for you as you kind of get ready for uh, the upcoming season. Now that you know, you're going to go full time. Yeah, so um, just I mean it's all it's going to be pretty busy, you know. Um, I come I come to the shop every day. Um, just a lot of uh, like I said, there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle that we're putting together. Um, you know, right now we're working on seats and getting seats mounted in cars and stuff like that. So um, it's all fun. I'll probably stay around here. You know, I'm thinking about I might go to. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine have a, <clears throat> a little cabin down in Georgia. I'm thinking about maybe going down there for for New Year's, but then once uh, once January first hits, it's it's game on. Daytona is going to come really quick. So um, we just uh, we've been working a lot, but there's still a lot of work to do. And I know as a team, um, this is kind of our our crunch time, right? This is the time where we um, we look at kind of what we did last year and how we can, what we're going to do next year and how we can improve, kind of get game plans together, stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. Really looking into what this, this season has for you. What are you, what, what are some of the tracks? What are some of the races that you're looking forward to? Uh, well, all of them, honestly. Um, I'd say, I mean, I'm looking forward to going to some of my favorite tracks. I, I enjoy going to, um, I enjoy Vegas. I enjoy Martinsville, Bristol, um, Texas, a lot of tracks that I've been to and then looking forward to going tracks I haven't been to before. I'm looking forward to go to Fontana, looking forward to doing some road course stuff. <clears throat> so it's, um, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. Uh, I just am ready to get to the racetrack, honestly. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, definitely, uh, it's uh, definitely coming, uh, coming up pretty I mean it's going to be here before you know it so yeah what what are we going to expect out of uh with with this team this year um I I mean I think I think we all kind of have high expectations I think we want to set the bar high um you know as a goal as a team we want to um <clears throat> improve basically what the average finish 
of the 99 was last year. Um, the, you know, over the course of the season, uh, I definitely said that's one goal. And um, just we want to put races together. You know, we want to um, put a whole race together, not be fast at one point and, and, and <clears throat> maybe struggle at another point. It's one thing that I think we come a long way as, as a team is being able to uh, execute um, races better. Um, I think BJ's whole program has um, is is one of the probably one of the smarter programs out there in terms of the approach to the racetrack and and kind of the strategies and, and <clears throat> the ways you can put yourself in a good position for a good finish. Um, so yeah, we just want to we was, we just want to get through the first you know five ten races and really be in a good position points wise. You know we don't want to have to dig ourselves out of a hole, have some bad luck in the first few races, and 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 have to work ourselves out of a hole. So um, I say that's kind of the important stuff that we're um, we're figuring on. Yeah. All right, Stephen Parsons, thanks for coming on and talking with us. Uh, Enjoy the off season and uh, see you in Daytona. Yeah, thanks.